Cindy and um, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble a Sony PlayStation 3 controller so that you can fix many of the common problems that are associated with the PlayStation 3 controller. First what you need, and pretty much the only thing you're going to need, is one of these teeny tiny little screwdrivers because they work really well. And in the back of your PlayStation 3 controller you're going to find that there are five different screws that you'll have to first loosen to get the back of your controller off. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And you don't really have to take them all the way out. You just have to loosen them so you can get the controller apart. And then they don't kind of run off everywhere. And once your screws are loosened, it's just going to come in half. You should just be able to pretty gently pull it apart. See if it'll play nice with you. Just making sure they're all nice and loose. All right, and now that we've got the back of your PlayStation 3 controller off of here, you can see the insides of the PlayStation 3 controller. Not too scary at all. And that's okay, we'll put that back together later. All right, now the first thing that I think is really important to do, it's not completely necessary, but I like to remove the battery because I don't like to ever get shocked ever with anything. So, we're just not going to risk that at all. We're going to take that right out. Then you're going to see inside there is another screw right down here that you have to take that out to access the other side of the controller. All right. I'll put that right there so we don't lose it. Then you can go ahead and actually lift out the inside of the controller. And that's what that looks like there. And these are just your R1 and your R2 and your L1 and L2 buttons right here. And we'll show you how to put those back together in the next video. Alright, and that is how you disassemble the PlayStation 3 controller.